I have a black belt in karate, a black belt in judo, and a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I'll, I'll do my talking in the ring. If someone thinks that they're, uh, they're, they're better than me or if they're, they're tougher than me, then that's fine, and maybe they are, you know, like that. but then we can, we can also prove it too. Uh, my name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Steve Burgess. Uh, I'm a uh, logistician in the Canadian Army. I've really got to back off the espresso, holy oh God. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was 12 years old when I, uh, when I started uh, training in, uh, in karate. I actually saw a Chuck Norris movie, uh, and that was my first exposure kind of to the martial arts. When you look through recorded uh, history of, of militaries, the more advanced weapons become, we always refer to it as standoff distance. The greater the standoff distance becomes, the less important combatives becomes. When we talk about the close quarter combative range, uh, which we generally define as 25 meters or less, uh, that would involve tactical shooting, blunt and edged weapons, and of course, hand-to-hand -hand combat. And, and what we've seen is that 80% of the world population is in urban built-up areas, and it is forcing soldiers to go into the close quarter range. The approach in combatives can be summed up in three words. It's close, dominate, finish. I've had many of my students uh, who are combat artists, who are also in special operations as well, uh, who have had to go hand-to-hand -hand combat. In some of these situations, it, it made the difference between life and death. I'm always scared, uh, whether it's uh, you know, on a deployed operation or from fighting. It's not about not being afraid, it's learning how to fear manage. Be able to be calm in a chaotic environment. I had a student of mine who, um, after, a, after a belt promotion uh, in jiu-jitsu, he came up to me afterwards. He said, you don't understand, I, I, I have PTSD. He said, I just wanted to let you know that this is the only thing that got me through. Uh, it made me feel a part of a team again. I, I felt that I was in control again. It teaches you that you can always overcome. There, there is no situation that you cannot overcome. I do believe in uh, lead by example. It's been 17 years, but I've decided uh, to go back into active competition. Uh, I'll be uh, going to uh, Las Vegas to compete at the uh, 2018 uh, World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Masters. Uh, the samurai have an expression. When, when you talk about the way of the warrior, that, which they refer to as Bushido, they say that when you think you understand what Bushido is, you've completely missed the point. The path, that journey, never ends. And that's what I hold on to. Thank <laughs> you.